Hey everyone, thank you so much for zooming in. We are so excited and absolutely thrilled to have Eric Coover on the line with us today. He has so much passion, so much heart, so much wisdom. You know, sometimes I think like, how can anyone in their 20s possibly have this much knowledge and grace and tact and excitement and entrepreneur and dreams and just creativity. And every time I talk to him, I get excited. So you guys, I want you to be super fired up. I hope you have paper and pen to just write down some goodness, but just enjoy this. It is such a treat out of his really, really, really busy schedule to pour into you guys for the next half an hour. I'm pretty confident that most of you know who he is from a video or somehow it got greeted into your back office. But for those of you that don't know Eric, he is the son of our founders, Jim and Kathy Coover. He'll tell you a little bit about his story and almost kind of his like aversion to isogenics at first. And now his baby. He also is the founder of Start. So many of you are in Start, myself included, which is the young entrepreneurs from ages 18 to 35. This vision kind of started as a Facebook group, which has now grown to like 60,000 people. He is the senior vice president of global field development. But I mean, honestly, he is the type of person that at the Isogenics events warm you up. I mean, I am blown away how he remembers names. He remembers stories. Every single person. I mean, he just pays attention to detail. We've had the privilege and honor of having him here in Denver, kind of getting to know him. But right now, I just want to introduce him and listen to him and not me. So Eric, hi, thank you for joining us. Hey, hey, Lauren, it's great to uh, be on this Zoom call. I love seeing everybody's faces. And uh, as you said, we are in full blown celebration mode. We're, uh, I mean, about 10 days away, which is freaking crazy because I, I just got married, which is, was like the most incredible thing in my life. And then I get back and we're like two weeks out from celebration and I kind of had a little panic moment, but we're all good now. We're, we're excited. It's going to be amazing, but I'm excited to be able to join you on this call. I really appreciate you, you having me, and uh, appreciate everybody taking time out of their day to to listen in. Awesome. So I know we chatted a little bit, you know, kind of via email, and thank you, Trisha, for helping organize and coordinate this as well. Um, but I would love for you to kind of just talk a little bit about, you know, how amazing celebration is, why we're pushing so hard for people to get there. And just a little bit, I mean, obviously, we're not going to give the golden nuggets of the event away, but just what is kind of coming, what's in the forefront of the company's vision that's going to make quarter four of 2016 just explosive, like the biggest quarter that Isogenics has ever experienced. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> real quick, before, if, if you ever really want all the secrets to be spilled from any event or anything coming... Like, I'll give you a little bit, but it's my mom who can't keep a secret. So next time, get my mom on and she will just spill all the beans. That's like, she just, it's impossible for her to keep a secret. But um, we have, I mean, celebration is, is like the Mac Daddy event of them all. I mean, this is really our culture on full display. And I think that one of the greatest products that we have in Isogenics is our culture. And you cannot something changes in people when they come to these events and um and you know celebration is 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 really everybody globally from around the world coming together as one team to celebrate the work that we re we're really doing in the world and if i were to say if there's one activity that everybody it's important for everybody to get really really good at it is doing everything you can to get people to the next event and, and for this case, it's celebration. So, but for those of you who are coming to celebration, that's amazing. But at celebration, I want everybody to start thinking kind of in 90 day sprints about building into the next event 90 days away, whether that be a local Super Saturday, whether that be an uh, ICU, whether that be a New Year kickoff, because events is where all the lights turn on for people. I mean, I know that, Laura, I remember seeing you, I think it was one of your first events. Uh, I think it was at New Year kickoff, maybe in Dallas or something like that. And you came up to me after the event, like up on stage with like six people who were so on fire. And I think you were like just a, you may have been like just gone executive or something like that. And then you said that every single one of these people on the stage is about to go, we're running to executive. And that was like probably two or three years ago. and. And now look at what you've created. And, 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 but that's the, the key to getting people to events is it's, 
you know, nobody ever comes to an event and they think, you know, I'm so glad I came to that event because I finally understand, you know, why they use this ingredient in the shake. They don't, you don't hear people say that. They say, I'm so glad I came to that event because I caught the vision and everything changed for me. If you, if you hear people share their story up on stage or you hear a powerful story, you'll hear people say, you know, I, I got great results in the products. I became such a product believer. And then I started sharing and dabbling in the business. But then I came to an event and I saw the vision and I came out of that event literally 10 foot tall and bulletproof. And when you come out of events, you come out like your belief level in all the different areas escalates. So your belief in the products, your belief in the compensation plan, your belief in the management team, your belief in the culture, your belief in network marketing is a huge one that a lot of people struggle on. And finally, belief in yourself. And when you start becoming a 10 out of 10 in all those different areas of belief, that's when people start getting attracted to you because there's something inside of you that changes and people want to follow something or follow someone that's, that is 100% in belief in what they're doing and they're so congruent in what they're doing uh, and they're speaking with conviction. And so I think that's huge. I think that coming out of the celebration, of course, there's going to be new products announced. Uh, we're really, really excited for what's, for what's coming up. Uh, that, that'll be launched on day one. Um, you know, actually, in a little insider secret, August 1st. So that's like literally Monday. We're having a call with all of the six stars and above on uh, Sunday, uh, this upcoming Sunday letting everybody know of a massive thing that we are launching starting this Monday. So before celebration to help get everybody into massive action, it's going to be one of the biggest challenges that we ever do because we want people to get started into action now because don't a lot of people wait to get to the event for the, let the event like fire them up. What you do now is going to set the tone for how you come out of the event at celebration. So a lot of the times in this business, we, there's kind of a, a little bit of a delay. I mean, if, if you get into action now, what you do now is going to show up for another month, two, three, four months down the road. So the quicker you get into action now, the quicker the results are going to come out of celebration. So again, be on the lookout for Monday. And I know, I think Lauren, you're probably going to be on that call on Sunday. Um, but just get everybody ready for Monday, August 1st, we're coming out with a huge, huge challenge for everybody, leading them up to celebration. And uh, we're going to, of course, be talking about this at celebration, but everything starts on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Hey, Lauren, I think you're on mute. You're right. I love it when I, I talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to have everybody, so you guys stay on for the whole call because um, Eric's going to announce a, a fun contest that we're going to run right after celebration through part of the 90-day game plan afterwards. But there was a couple of things that I really wanted you to hear it from him. I know you've heard it from me or heard it from Janny, but there's no one that can pour this greatness into you um, who's better or more talented. So Eric, would you tell them a little bit just why it's important to not only go executive, but stay executive. You know, I think a lot of people chase that reset. You know, they saw the thousand dollar bonus, but big picture, long-term vision. Like why is there so much value in getting into executive? Well, executive is where the entire compensation plan opens up. I mean, it, it's, it's really, you, you really want to, uh, I think where some people get caught up is, you know, we make a big deal about getting to executive and people look at executive as the start, as the finish line. But I would encourage you to flip that and really look at executive as the starting line for everything starts to happen. Because sometimes when people get to executive, they like, they bust their butt so hard and they got 10 consultants and they're so excited. But then all of a sudden, you know, reality sets in and two weeks later, they've fallen off executive. And so really look at exec executive as, okay, this is where the starting line really is. And it starts getting exciting. This is where you start getting a 10% match on all of your personally enrolled people's checks. I mean, this is like when you really grasp that, I mean, imagine, getting Lauren Sims started 
and then getting to executive and then getting a 10% bonus, uh, getting 10% of Lauren Sims check every week. And you can earn that on every single person that you're getting started. So that's a huge thing. The second thing is executive opens up the rest of the compensation plan, which is the executive leadership pools. And it is like insane the amount of income people earn in these executive leadership pools. And if you don't understand the pool, you don't really have to. I mean, if you build the business, you're going to start earning in the pools, but really take the time to go through and start understand how much money you can start earning because of their the executive leadership pools. I mean, educate yourself because a lot of people, they'll see the presentation from the executive leadership pools and they realize how much money they've been leaving on the table because they're not at executive. And so again, executive is just the starting line for this, uh, for this compensation plan. And I think that really having the mindset, don't have the mindset, you got to get 10 consultants, five in the left, five in the right. Again, 10 is where you start. Then you get 11, 12, 15, 20, 25. I mean, people that really are driving this business forward, they never have to, they never feel like they have to stay at executive because they have literally, a lot of our top leadership, they've got like, they've got the mindset. It's like, I've, I've got 29 personally enrolled consultants. They're never going to have to worry about falling off executive. So if you really build deep and really all about getting, stepping people into leadership and getting their products paid for, then that's really the starting line, uh, getting people to executive. So again, can't stress that enough. Um, and, and that's what you really, you really want to set that expectation up in the beginning, because again, we put a lot of, um, we kind of hype up crystal executive, which gets people excited, but in reality, sometimes it's, uh, it's not really a good thing because people become demotivated when they hit executive and they fall off it. So again, really promote it as the starting line for the compensation plan. I think that's the mind shift that everybody really needs to go through. I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm stealing your verbiage from here on out. <laughs> I, I personally think you exemplify contribution, personal development, service leadership, like, I mean, the top notch. And if anyone follows Eric Coover, I mean, you can't friend him because he's too popular. But if you follow him on Facebook, he's always reading. You know, he organized Global Give Back Day that there was thousands of people all over the globe, you know, contributing. He's done now the Start Give Back Days at multiple events where we're getting together. And I would love just for them to hear a little bit on why you think those areas are so important and why that's such an important piece of Isogenics culture and what I think makes us ambassadors for the industry and really dynamic on those three kind of areas. Yeah. And I, I really think it's, it's, it's more than just ambassadors for the industry. I mean, I think it's, you know, yes, we're, we're a pioneer in the network marketing industry, but what, what I view Isogenics in, in the future is that, you know, I, I see Isogenics in five, 10, 15 years being amongst, you know, categories and groups such as Apple, Google, Zappos, some of these great companies in the world where, you know, the ISA guy becomes as recognizable as the Nike swoosh or the Apple, Apple uh, logo. And I think that, you know, sometimes we get in our little network marketing bubbles, but you know, how do we really show up in the world where we're going to attract people from all over the world because they want to be a part of values that makes Isagenic so great. And that's why I've been so passionate about our what drives us initiative where we really defined and sat down and, you know, went through an exercise of defining what our 12 core values are. And one of those is, of course, contribution. And I think that uh, this is what we've really based the company around and, and what I think what makes the start movement so powerful is it really is all around contribution and giving back. You know, when we originally were thinking about, you know, the start movement is how do we make Isogenics a cool, young, energetic, hip company that young people want to be a part of. We knew that you, we can't base it around materialistic crap that a lot of companies base their, you know, values around and they lure young people in with this empty materialistic stuff that uh, just doesn't fill anybody yet, to be honest with you. You know, yeah, it'll get you excited for about a week, but then, you know, it just doesn't, um, at the end of the day, you can only have so much stuff. And so I think that 
when you have something that's aligned around contribution, especially amongst young people. I mean, this is really the future of isogenics and contribute. Everybody wants to be a part of something greater than themselves. And especially for young people, we know that, you know, to me, start in order to inspire the next generation and really be a legacy company. We got to move the next generation and shift the consciousness of young people from, you know, this materialistic stuff to living a life of contribution. And so to me, the start movement is really the legacy in action of isogenics. Every time that I see start people up on stage or when we do our big piece at celebration and we've got all the start 1000s up on stage, it's like, I always take a look at that and say, you know what? The legacy of isogenics is just thriving right now and it is in such great hands. And, um, and so that's, that's why we do these start give back days at all of our main events. That's why we, um, you know, had the global give back day. We're actually already planning something for, uh, for the holidays where we're going to do something around giving back in the holidays. So, uh, you know, I think that contribution is ultimately what fills people up. And that's why this movement is sustainable over time because, you know, contribution never gets old. <laughs> it's always exciting. Hey, Lauren, I, I was just saying, oh, I lost you. I thought I was going to mute everybody again, so you'll have to unmute because I don't know who called in that you're getting in the background. Um, it's great. And one of the things that I hear from people all the time in Isogenics, both on my team and then Star and just the whole company, is that because of the success people have had in Isogenics, it's opened up so many doors for they can apply their time and give back or volunteer or, you know, engage in a hobby or something that they, you know, necessarily couldn't do because they were working a second job or doing something that exchanged time for money. And I think that that is just an amazing thing of our culture and that we do teach that and we do exemplify that and that it's so not about us, but always what we're doing with other people. So I hope you guys are excited about that and continue to, you know, partake in things in the community and grow yourself and grow other people's in that way. Um, the last thing I just wanted to ask you is so many people are like, you know, nobody wants to do the business or people don't want to share the business or, you know, they, after the 30 day, they didn't want to continue. And we're always trying to share with people, you know, that we love that 85, 87% of Isogenics is product users. You know, we love the fact that our products work and people come for them or stay for them. But I think a lot of people are looking for that community and looking for that retention and the longevity that it's not a revolving door of 30 day cleanses. Um, can you touch just a teeny bit on what you would advise people on the best tips or the best ways to really build a strong community, have that legacy culture, and to increase the retention in their individual businesses? Now you're muted, though. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Okay. So I think, um, you know, the key with retention is, uh, again, as you said, 85% of all people that join Isogenics are just product users. And that's one of the statistics that I love the most because it shows that we have real products that people are committed to using for the rest of their lives. And that is a sign to us that, you know, we have a long-term sustainable business. So everything starts with the products. And I guarantee you that if you were to pull all of the top leaders in Isogenics, all of the millionaires in Isogenics, they all started just for the product. You know, they didn't, like probably 99% of them didn't even want anything to do with the business. They just wanted the product. So that's how everybody starts out. So don't feel like you're doing anything wrong if somebody initially doesn't want to do anything with the business. Do everything you can to get that person the greatest product experience possible because it all starts with the products. When people get the, these products in their body, and they start looking and feeling different after, you know, their first week, two weeks, 30 days, and then they're not going to want to go off of them. I know that uh, one of the great, greatest tips that um, I, I heard was Tracy O'Malley. She's a, you know, an incredible isogenics leader. And she, what she did is she actually, uh, every single day, she runs a Zoom call just like this, and it's designed for all of her product users. So, Everybody, she, like she says, I love my product users so much. So I'm going to host a daily Zoom call every single day uh, for like 30 minutes in the morning. 
and I'm just going to say all my product users can get on the on the call and ask any questions that they have, anything that they're going through, any tips that they have. We'll go through recipes. You know, we'll celebrate some results just on the products. And at at the very end of the call, she says, "Hey everyone, I know you guys are experiencing good results. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing a little bit a little webinar, um, you know, during the week of showing you how to get your products paid for. If you want, if you want to help." you know, share, share it with some people. And literally not everybody's going to go to that webinar, but like one or two or three people may hop on that webinar. And that's literally how she said she has built her entire business from just stepping people from product users into that other zoom call where they start showing people how to get their products paid for and people get excited. And she, she's just got this nucleus of product users and just, you know, eventually, picked up a couple because every single day, you know, she's encouraging people to get re great results. And then, Hey, if, by the way, I do this call every single you know day or week about, you know, getting your products paid for. And it's just stepping people into that webinar. So because the ultimate key with retention really is getting people paid. I mean, if people have, uh, even if they've just referred it to a couple people and they're getting their products paid for, I mean, we look at the data and the numbers uh, on a weekly basis. And we know that people who are earning $250 or more every single month, $250 a month are experiencing about a nine, it's, the numbers say it's about a 91 to 93% retention rate for people who are earning just $250 a month because they're getting their products paid for. And you know, people are never going to go off the, the products when they get their products paid for. So I think, again, the key is just love your product users and, and know that <laughs> a lot of people get discouraged when it's like, I can't get any of my product users to become business builders. That's okay. As soon, a lot of people don't realize that as soon as somebody says place order and they're a product user every single month, guess what? They're taking action for you. They're helping build your business. They're helping helping contribute to this network of people that are consuming the product. So um, a lot of people, it takes them a year, two, three years down the road before they start stepping into the business. Laura Stevens, I, she's one of the most successful business builders right now we have in Isogenics. It took her like three years to say yes to this, to this opportunity. And Kelly Dickerhoof, who's the number one earner in start, you know, was her best friend. So. <laughs> Again, a lot of people think that they have to like change their pitch or they think that they're doing something wrong when in reality, we have no idea what the other person on the end of the line is going through and it really is timing uh, for, for everybody. And so again, just create so much value up front just, and, and, a, and, a, and a great book that I would actually recommend to really get people into this mindset of creating value with people um, is the go giver. Uh, I think that if there is one book that really, if you were to model your isogenics business off of just this one philosophy that this book talks about the go giver, everything would change for people. Um, because it really is all the service and the value that you're giving people that people really want. That's what, that's when people really want to start linking arms with you and, and, and start running. Awesome. That is one of my favorite books. I love that you just brought that up. But before I have you announce the contest that I'm running, um, is there anything that's on your heart or anything that kind of came up that you want the dreamers to know? Any last little golden nuggets or tips while we have you that would just kind of light a fire under them, get them super excited about the next 90 day game plan? And Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got our 90 day game plan starting just after celebration. Um, again, I, <laughs> No 90 day game plan is ever perfect. Uh, it's, it's so freaking messy. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it is like, you know, like you're going to be so fired up after celebration. You're going to. Can you guys hear Eric and not just me or did it, is everyone lose him? Just me. Okay. Keep going, Eric. It was just me for whatever reason. Keep going. Sorry, I okay. didn't mean to interrupt okay. you. No, it's okay. I, I was just saying that, like, you're going to come out of Celebration on Fire. 
week two, week three, week four, you're going to have something happen where it just gets really messy and it's going to knock you out of the game and fear, doubt, uh, uncertainty is all going to start creeping in. But just know that this is such a journey. Like this is, this is all part of the process. And I think that the more that we can set that expectation up front with people and let them know that this is not, this is not an easy business. Like this takes so much time, so much energy, so much hard work and li literally letting people know all that stuff up front and really being authentic and real with people and so that nothing is going to come up and surprise them, I think is long term for your business is going to be huge. But do know that every single time that, you know, doubt, insecurity, fear, all that stuff starts creeping in. I know for me, anytime that stuff starts creeping in, it's when I'm typically getting lazy, I'm procrastinating, I've fallen off the wagon, you know, I've, I'm just not, you know, staying consistent with my plan. That's when all that crap just starts to, you know, overwhelm my brain and the noise gets louder and louder and louder. But, you know, I say it all the time, every time we, get, we start getting into action every single day, all that fear, insecurity, doubt, noise, the volume starts to go down. The more and more and more we get into action. So just know that. And when you start having those moments, check in on your activity level and your action because chances are if all that stuff starts creeping in, your activity level needs to increase and go up. But just know that it is so, so normal. Um, again, that's, that's what's always on my heart. And just, again, know that it's going to be messy. You know, I say this a lot, but I think that it really is true, is that confidence comes from action. It doesn't, doesn't come from thinking about it. You know, you cannot think your way to confidence. You have to get up every single day and act your way to confidence. You know, you look at all the leaders on stage that, that are doing incredible things. You look at you, Lauren, you know, it was really, really messy in the beginning, but, and it still is really, really messy, but the more and more you get into action, the more confidence, the more believable you become and just have that long-term mindset of three, five, 10 year mindset, because sometimes in this profession, we get, you know, if things don't happen for us in six months, we feel like we're failing or something's wrong, but you know, just celebrate every step of this journey. Um, you know, and look at all the great things that have come into your life because of this vehicle, the friendships, the community, the culture, the products, the additional streaming income, the mission, something you can believe in. Uh, if you focus in on that stuff, you know, you cannot, you, you have to win every single day. So true. Oh my gosh. So true. I love it. You guys are excited. Now you want to hang up the phone because you all want to go do something with this. Well, one of my favorite, favorite things about Isogenics is being blessed in a way that I can give back. There's, you know, times in my life that I, there was no way I could afford things on my own for myself or, you know, my immediate family. And to think that because of the leadership pools or because of this generosity that Isogenics has provided, that I get to pour into you guys because there's no way I could do this without all of you. And we work together and we trust each other and it's super, super fun. And I always think of different ways that motivate people and get people really, really excited and so I've asked Eric to kind of announce to you guys the contest that I'm going to start right after celebration up through Denver's um, Super Saturday, which is on October 22nd. Um, for those of you that do not know Kimberly and Edward Rushing, they're amazing. They're four stars. Um, they're out of California. They're part of Laura Stevens, um, Laura Stevens' team. I met them actually because Kisa Maxwell hosted me and them at her first Super Saturday in um, the central coast of California, we clicked, we found out we had a common denominator, something we were absolutely head over heels in love with outside of Isogenics. And so we decided we were going to do an event together in October and to make this super fun into the next level. I want Eric to just kind of share with you what we have in store for you guys. Okay. Exciting stuff. So I, I'm, I just pulled up the email you sent me, Lauren. And so I'm going to summarize this contest. So basically, uh, from what I, and correct me if I'm wrong at any point, Lauren. So this is for local team members, okay? So this is for people in the Denver area, is that right? Or people that want to come out. They come out for the event. They would or, obviously be eligible. Okay, so anybody coming to this Super Saturday on August 22nd. Okay, perfect. So October, October 22nd. <laughs> October, October, October 22nd. Sorry, okay. So the first three people to rank to rank advance to executive 
or their next star level, golden circle, or enroll 10 people um, between celebration and the event. So the event on October 22nd. So the first uh, three people to do this are gonna earn an invite, a paid dinner, and a free ticket to the Monday night football Broncos game. Yes. Okay. And, how, and how or, and Kimberly are like diehard Bronco fans. Like I think bigger than all of us. Like they were showing me their Super Bowl pictures. They just wanted to come out for a game. I think they're more excited about the game than the Super Saturday. And then we that's, said, well, we should do this whole thing together. So that's so cool. They're from, they're actually from Carmel too. That's where I'm from. So again, October 22nd, this is Super Saturday. First three uh, dreamers to rank advance to executive, the next star level, the golden circle level, um, or enroll 10 or more new associates between celebration and the event will earn an invite, paid dinner, free tickets to the Monday Night Football game. Hope that's clear. Yes, and I'll just add on that you guys, we're not putting you in the nosebleeds. <laughs> like Kimberly and Edward are coming from California. Like we're either going to do a box suite or like 50 yard line, you know, like first 10 rows up. Like they're going to be bomb seats and you get to sit around top leaders. There will be one other isogenics top leader coming out to train with us, which is a little bit still undecided, but we're super excited about it. And then for anyone who cannot come to the event, if you meet those requirements, you're going to get $100 cash from me. Like I just don't want to discredit or like not make any of our distant teams um, ineligible for that. So that was the last little thing is if you are one of those first few people, then it's just a hundred dollar bonus that you can do what you want, whatever that is. So um, we're going to wrap it up. You guys, I know that Eric's incredibly busy and with 10 days away for celebration in this monstrous event that we need to let him go. But I want to thank you for your time, your wisdom, I mean, everything that you said to get these people excited. And honestly, the, the authenticity part and just keeping it real and, you know, not just blowing smoke and mirrors at people, but really kind of laying the vision of what it looks like, the story and the glory. So I'm going to unmute you guys. Please share your love. Say thank you. And um, we're so excited. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Love you guys. Come up. Thank you. Tell you to hi. Tell your family hi. I will. I definitely will. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you so much. See you in Vegas. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.